Hi, it's Miss Vicky, and, and I am here with um my pal Pumpkin Pumpkin Nazi. Oh, I love pumpkin. Is it Nazi or Nazi? Pumpkin Nazi. I don't know which one I named it. I don't know. But um. So anyway, I just um I was gonna make this video just um going out to a few um not even a few two people I discussed my um uh gosh multiple system atrophy MSA um diagnosis with um but then I said, well, you know, this could be beneficial for everyone else. And um, more and more, uh, my dysautonomia has progressed. And I was told in the beginning, um, especially by the original sp dysautonomia specialist in Boston, that what I had was progressive. But mostly at the time... Um, we were trying to focus on getting the pot symptoms, um, you know, under control or lessening them and so forth and so on. And I had pain issues and, you know, just dealing with odds and ends. Um, but yesterday, I went to my GI. He is the person who originally diagnosed the dysautonomia for all for those who don't know my story. And I love him. Um, it was just funny. So we're talking and I was explaining to him about my respiratory issues and um, the inhalers and the weakening of my diaphragm and what the allergist was thinking um, as well as, yeah, looking like MSA and what my neuro-ophthalmologist had originally said and what my primary care was thinking, you know, MSA, <laughs> what of course I was thinking and other doctors um, and the original specialist. But then he said to me, he was like, Nikki, MSA? I'm like, yeah, you know, multiple system atrophy. And he was like, I'm not sure. and I was like, you know, shy Drager. And he looked at me <laughs> like I had two heads. He said to me, what? as if, he looked at me like, have you, like, been present at all since 2009? When I told you that you had dysautonomia, shy Drager. I was like, you said that? He was like, yes, Nikki, I said that. It's in my notes. It's, I told you that in 2009 that that's what you had and that basically, you know, we needn't chase something. And this what he had given me a speech not too long ago about chasing something that's going to show itself anyway. And he was saying, um, well, no, and I said to him, I said, well, you know, when I think about it, when he gave me the original diagnosis, he said dysautonomia, and then I had never heard of that. So the rest of what he said to me went like this. Yeah, so Nikki, your dysautonomia, and I was like, my what? He's like, your dysautonomia. You have dysautonomia, and then it went blah, 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 and I was stuck on dysautonomia. I didn't hear anything else. <laughs> I just heard dysautonomia, blah, 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 blah. But what he had said was dysautonomia, shy Dragers. Which, and I said to him, it's funny because even if I had heard you, and I, I know shy Dragers to be multiple system atrophy, so it, that probably would have gone over my head anyhow so it's one of those things in life where you say you know something was meant to be because had I heard him 
in 2009 when he originally said that I don't think I would handle it the same as I handle the idea of it now <laughs> that I've been you know living with the dysautonomia um, diagnosis and both gastroparesis POTS and um, going blank as usual but whatever else so it was just so funny this was just yesterday and I have my records people because I went through so much with my long-term disability um, insurance company that I would get copies but I'm talking hundreds a thousand maybe more pages of stuff and so I would kind of look through it most of it and uh, but I I don't know he's one of the people I saw so often that I looked at it but you know what you know <laughs> I don't know he told me originally and someone was asking me two people asked me you know recently well um Mickey you know why do you think it's MSA and then you know I began to explain and everything you know fits whatever and that my primary care and neuro ophthalmologist um, and I had even had discussions later on with the GI about I just don't think it's just funny that it all got lost in translation between he and uh, he and me like totally lost <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that he looked at me like, what do you mean? I told you that in the beginning. And now I get more and more why, why he gave me that speech a few months ago about just stop it. And, you know, do Vanderbilt. That's what matters most to us. They have the proper equipment because he <laughs> already knew what it was. And there was nothing, when he, there was nothing to chase but ultimately waiting for the different symptoms to show up and um, they have and so I don't know I just think it's so funny and my poor nurse because when I saw her I was like yeah she's like how are you doing I said you know um, dealing with all the new issues that come with my MSA and she was like you know I was kind of explaining to her and so for the rest of the, her examination of me she was just like shaking and I'm like <laughs> I'm dying right like on the table or something <laughs> I don't know and so poor Anne Marie oh my god it's just funny it's all so funny and when I saw the allergist today, um, so I think it was, yes, so Susie Q. Potts, I appreciate your input on the inhalers, but the allergist said he already knew about the effects of the one you were talking about. He switched it today. He was just trying to do something. I don't know what he was saying, but um, he did change it. And... Um, my hematologist today I just you know listening is so fundamental and I always say reading is fundamental but listening and he then yesterday after he said yeah shy Drakers I told you that I was so shocked at that then he used some yeah I told you shy Drakers and then he said something with an F shy Drakers and so, 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 so. I don't know what it was. Again, I was stuck on the shy trigger this time. Instead of the dysautonomia, which I've gotten used to hearing. Him saying shy trigger, now that, you know, I mean, two years ago, or at the beginning, I knew what shy trigger was, but I knew what MSA was first, and not knowing that they were one and the same. But just hearing him say it, but I could hear him also still talking, and he said, "Yeah, shy dragons and flip, 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 flip." And I was just in the day, like, "What, what, what did he say again? Like, <laughs> again?" But it doesn't matter. It, 
I don't know. Life is funny that way. And for some reason, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Like, and so for those of you who don't know, um, yeah, we've all, we've been knowing that it was probably MSA between my primary care and allergists or whatever, but, and some others, rheumatologists, but, um, yeah, yeah, so when I go to Vanderbilt, and so now, though, the GI was really concerned that the respiratory issues and the weakening of the diaphragm, he was like, now you're at the stage where it is really critical, and so I need for you to get to Vanderbilt sooner than the September 26th date, and so, and my primary care felt the same, and so my primary care's office, um, called Vanderbilt and um, they went ahead and put me on the cancellation list and they said they usually have cancellations so I should get in sooner and um, so that's where we're at everyone is concerned because the respiratory issues it came on as, it was like an acute situation just out of nowhere I've never had breathing problems and um, yeah so to me, you know, it's like, oh, another symptom, but it's also, it's a, that's, I think it's such a big, swift change to just literally almost wake up and have your diaphragm. I know, it, I don't know, it's pretty acute. And so um, when my primary care heard it in my chest and everything, had x-rays and stuff, but like, you know, he was like, Nikki, we just, I just hate that we're waiting like this. And, um, so, we're still waiting, but now at least there's hope that I'll get in sooner. And, um, I don't know, it was, it's been a funny week. A funny week. And then trying to, like, do some pulmonary tests today. I'm half fainting on the, ugh. But, so I've got to, so I had, like, one, two, three, four inhalers because I was allergic to one. Now I've got another one um, because of the issue with the um, palpitations and so forth and the complications with the pots because you've got the pots and, you know, treatment um, becomes difficult, if you, especially if you're like me with the hyperadrenergic pot. It's very difficult, as we all know, to um, find a protocol or a treatment plan for that with all of that going on and then to add inhalers into that all of a sudden and I've never had a problem with those things before but that's it now I'm just going on and on but it's funny but I got her I got novels and my birthday is October 12th and on her card um, oops, sorry, honey. I'm poking her in the eye. Her birthday's October 15th, so we're both Libra. And the seven-year-old has one, and his is a penguin, and we named him Booster. And so Nozzles and Booster, they're best friends, and they hang out and stuff. Yeah, she's a chemist, and Booster is um, a, a spy. And so, um, and then I made up this thing where my son is, what is he? He's a wizard and I'm a witch. I don't know, long story. <laughs> but yes. The MSA awareness. Or Shy Drager, if that's your preference. <laughs> but that's it. gotta go. Love you guys. Be good. Be patient. Be in the moment. And, you know, be listening even when the words get difficult because you could be told something very important in 2009 and just um, now realize that <laughs> three years into the progression. Alright. Gotta go. Thank you for listening. Just wanted to share... They've changed the...